Hello and welcome to another jungle video, the first of our core guides for season 11. And in this one, like last year, we should be taking a look at the jungle routes you should be trying as we get into the preseason. Now, obviously, I made a full jungle routes video back in the summer. All of those routes will still apply because the jungle clearing didn't really change in that sense. However, if you want to know exactly what changed in the jungle in terms of the camps and itemization, I made a dedicated video to that last week. I will link it below. But because the Grump will be giving us HP and mana back, this camp will be fundamental to all clears in the game. As such, I will break down some clears I think you should be using and experimenting with, although as a meta develops and certain clears become more prominent, I will update this video with those in due course. So as always, if you enjoyed the videos and are looking forward to all the Season 11 content, I have a lot planned. Please don't forget to like and consider subscribing. Don't forget to join me on Planet 9 in the Community Hub as well as the tournament feature. We will be giving away skins, having a 1v1 tournament, 5v5 tournaments and all of that within the next month. And now because we've waited long enough, let Season 11 begin. Right, I do have a core clear that I want to talk about a first jungle route that really I think everyone should be observing. But firstly, I want to highlight the simplest of all clears, the buff buff grump or the buff grump buff. The reason for this is as follows. Those who currently will benefit from the 12% Omni Vamp in terms of AoE, good for you. Some champions like off meta Kaiser jungles, Zyra jungles, even other meta champions that love to do this clear still the Warwicks, the Volley Bears. What happens once you've done buff buff grump if you don't have built in sustainability? You usually lower HP, you usually lower mana, and you have to wait for the crab in order to, you know, get some of that back. Alternatively, even if you can fight the enemy jungler 1v1, if you are so depleted from simply doing three chems, you can't invade, you can't gank mid freely, you can't gank top freely, you have to know where the enemy jungler is, you have to be cautious, and some things just aren't possible. So most of the time, if you had the resources, you could reverse clear down and try to get to the opposite side, then you could get the crab, then you can regenerate, but it delays your impact. Now, however, if you look side by side, let's take a few jungles, I will speed through them, buff buff grump, Look at the HP difference because the Grump giveth. The official passive in the patch notes was called Toad Soup. So you drink that soup, you feel like, hey, this is witchcraft. But instead of taking a hellish amount of damage and slowly dying, you get regenerated. You look confused and happily at the Grump, and now you actually have choices. Even with Kaiser Jungle, even with other off-meta champions, and with meta champions, guess what? You have more proactivity if you are able to defeat the enemy jungler 1v1. And because it's Omnivamp and it's 12%, a lot of junglers that couldn't clear the jungle now can. Now you can get out ahead of others who do 4 camp clears and 5 camp clears. If you can defeat them 1v1 and you know they're low, now you're full HP and you can go invade. Yeah, yeah, it's a basic clear, but even if you think about a 5 camp clear, maybe you're someone who wants to do red, raptors, wolves, blue, grump. Maybe you play Warwick who couldn't do that in season 10 and before, but all of a sudden with a QW level 2 and the fact that you can smite the raptor because you want to smite as much as possible, it means you can easily sustain enough to get to the grump and get all of it back just in time for crab fights and ganks and counter ganks. Don't sleep on the classic 3 camp clear and don't sleep on the classic 5 camp clear, that grump is going to be huge. Right, now the jungle route I wanted to center on and give you a huge breakdown of why it's going to be so strong in this meta. It's a route you know, it's a 4 camp clear, you saw it at Worlds, you've seen it in pro play, you've seen it in high elo play. We even talked about it in the Kha'Zix video a few weeks ago. I will explain the clear and then go even further to explain the context of why it's so good and how you can translate that to huge jungle leads. Not only experience leads, but also leads that make them question why they're even jungling in the first place. So, how does it begin? Yes, you can go Red Krugs, Blue Grump, but we're not doing that, it takes way too long and doesn't play into what we're talking about. Which is efficiency, power, and I started that like there was going to be three things. Red, Raptors, Blue Grump. Four camps, and guess what, even if you're doing Warwick, you can actually afford to smite the big Raptor because guess what, we regenerate. And you're actually able to do the Grump, which gives you more sustain back. And much like the three camp reverse route I talked about at the beginning of the video, here you do have the option of falling down to wolves and then reversing to the other side. However, most importantly, as you saw from the Kha'Zix example, the Graves did this clear. What it allowed him to do was get a gank off on the top side before the Kha'Zix was able to get there himself. When you are against a 5 camp clearing jungler, when you are against a 3 or 4 camp clearing jungler, if your champion is able to do this reasonably quickly, you will either be there for the gank first, you will either be there for the gank at the same time, or you will be perfectly primed for a counter gank. This works both for the top and the mid lane. This also means that afterwards you can fall back and get the top side crab. So yes, this is going to get a bit complicated, but please try and follow me as best you can. Once you've done the initial full camp, we can reverse clear down into the bottom side crab, gank on the bottom lane, then take tier 1 Krugs, and by that point our tier 2 Raptors would have spawned, and then we can go back to base. This is perfect if you know the enemy jungler will be on the top side, you have no lane prior, you can't win 1v1, and you're simply looking to optimize your experience. 
From there, you can head to your tier 2 Grump, tier 2 Wolves, look to gank, what have you. However, with our Graves example, what we were able to do is get a gank off on the top lane, push the enemy jungler away, and now all of a sudden we can take the top lane crab, run across mid lane, take the bottom crab, look for a gank on the bottom lane, if there is one, make it so, if there isn't, simply go to your Krugs and then Raptors and reset. Same end game, but with a double crab instead of a simple single. To use perfect season 11 footage, you'll see from the Zyra example here, yes, I do play my Zyra jungle. For Campit, have your top laner who has prior ward, and when the Olaf steps on it, you can go and fight him. Now, the Mordekaiser unfortunately dies in the endeavor, and now you can secure the topside crab. Don't worry, the Mordekaiser gets a 2v1 later in the game because he took that death really personally. Now, in the Graves' case, it's very easy to say, right, I take the top crab, I take the bottom crab, and then I fall back into my jungle. In a weaker case, if you do not win 1v1 against the enemy jungler, and they are respawning quicker than you can get to the second crab on the bottom side, and perhaps you don't have mid prior, you don't have bottom lane prior, it's very simple to simply fall back to your wolves, and then go and probe for a potential crab take. If it's available, simply go and secure it, then you fall back to your Krugs and Raptors in whichever order you prefer. If you want to sequence down, Raptors Krugs. If you want to sequence up, Krugs Raptors. In this case with the Zyra, we're able to secure that crab, get a gank off in the mid lane, secure the Raptors, and then head back to base. The reason is because at this point, there's a lot of gold on the map. You see the Olaf heading topside. You want to be able to sequence your tier 2 Grum, your tier 2 Wolves, and be ready to counter jungle should the Olaf show topside. Now that's obviously getting away from the first route in the clear and sort of getting into jungle pathing and reads, but the whole point is, this route allows you the flexibility to make all these decisions. Reverse clear, ganking presence, double crabbing, second tier sequencing for extra experience. It's why it was used so often in worlds and why it also set up counter jungling as you see in this case, I fast forward, it gets me second tier buffs, it gets me groms, another crab, another gank. It really enables a jungler to do a lot of things and guess what, I cannot do this live with Zyra. Raptors are very tough early on, in the new season they're faster, they're stronger, they're bigger, they're better, they're shinier. But thanks to the smite that we are given by Lord Ryan, they are actually crispier because they die faster. And then you get the regeneration from the Grump enabling all of this for more junglers. So I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. You start with a 4 camp, you flex your decision into whichever situation seems best, you look at your lane states, you see if there are ganks available, and you know your camps will be beautifully set up for sequencing once you're done. I really wanted to keep this short and sweet and really hit the point with certain jungle roots that you could use. The main thing is to factor in their grump to your regeneration and to when you smite. We need those 5 smites to get the smite permanently upgraded and give us the itemization slot so we can actually use it on champions. Apparently laners were bitching about that a bit too much so it got nerfed. So be it laners, we will destroy you another way. But most importantly, normally if I'm doing a 3 camp or 4 camp clear with a weaker jungler or someone who wants to be quick, including Volibear, very often junglers will be looking to smite the grump. Now you don't do that. You can simply do blue, do grumpy, regenerate, and flex. Do I do wolves, red, invade the Evelyn, and make her life miserable? Yeah, probably. But you don't smite the grump, and you can save it for later on, either on the wolves, on the red, on the enemy's blue, what have you. And that's the most important thing. How do you take that initial root and clear and actually make a dominating lead? How was I to know that the Evelyn would be on the blue? Well, simple 5 camp clear would tell me the timing. It also means when you do that, you not only get the crab, you can gank on the mid lane as well, very nicely set up by the Echo, and because you know that the Evelyn did their 5 camp ended up at the blue side and you took everything, let's secure the bottom crab and head directly to the second spawn of the Raptors. Now here this is a little greedy, mid can rotate, be very careful about how you play this. If you don't have lane prior, you have to detach, but you're getting in the face, you're stealing the camps, you're stifling them by using the correct early jungle route and reading what they wanted to do. From there, if your Jan is rotated with you, you know the Evelyn's on the crab, hoppity hoppity over the wall, Hello my friend, miss your spells because that's what you do to make it look equal. Get level 6 and earn yourself a very early triple kill. I'm pretty sure that's the end of this game. That's why you must pay attention to where the enemy jungler starts and that's why even if you don't exactly win the 1v1, with good timing and getting on the map faster than them, you end up making these plays and determining the pace of the game. Finally in March I made a video about a certain reverse clear, I will show you the same animations as I showed then. The values might have shifted slightly but the clear is the same so pay attention to that. You go Raptors, Krugs, Red, into Blue. The nice thing about that is you could flex into the Crab. You'd need to do the Crab because it gave you some, you know, mana regeneration HP back. Now if the enemy jungler is in the area and it isn't black pink and it happens to be Graves, you're probably not going to be looking for a fight. The good news is you can do the Grump into your Wolves, down to the bottom side Crab and know you're getting the regeneration from the Grump. It opens up the ability to be a safer jungler. It doesn't force you to go for Crabs to get regeneration to make plays on the map. 
and as such can allow you to speed along these sort of reverse clears, these full clears, these experienced dominated clears without feeling compelled to go and deal with that enlarged prawn. So there you have it, I really hope that you were able to follow along some of the more advanced natures of these roots. Don't overcomplicate things, uh, you know, the simple buff buff grump is great. I just wanted to highlight the importance of that fat toad in our roots this year. Make sure you're thinking dynamically about when you take it and when you smite, and of course how you will use that lead to gain many wins. Thank you very much for watching, please do see the full jungle roots video if you're looking for different clears and variations that gives you a more highlighted view. I wanted to explain a little bit the season 11 impact on some of those clears. Thank you very much for watching, hope you were able to enjoy and learn something. Let me know what champions you are looking forward to try and what routes you are looking forward to try. A best junglers will come later in the week. And please consider subscribing if you are excited for Season 11 content and want more. And as always, I will see you all in the next tutorial.